planning to launch your own brand? Don't know what colors to choose? I'm here to help. Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. Today, we're gonna talk about colors, what to choose for your newly formed brand. Let's dive in. The color of your brand and logo is more important than the design itself. Think of Pepsi or Coca-Cola logos. Could you draw them from memory? Feel free to pause and give it a try. If you can't, can you at least remember their colors? Coke's that famous red and Pepsi is red, blue, and white. Try this with any brand, maybe Harley Davidson, UPS, or Netflix. Customers recognize colors easier than designs. Now, let's go through the four-step process for choosing the right colors for your brand. Step one, brand identity and core value. Start with asking yourself, what's the story of your brand? Why did you start the company? What do you solve for your customers? Who are your ideal customers? And how does your brand make your customers feel? Write your answers down on paper. Make a list of at least three to five words that represent your brand. Your answers will nearly choose your brand colors for you. Step two, follow colors psychology. Colors have associations and meanings, and they elicit feelings in viewers. These can even change depending on where you are geographically or the culture that you're a part of. On top of the questions you ask yourself in step one, you also want to consider if your brand is going to be local or national. If there are colors in your culture that already have meaning, are you targeting a specific gender or going gender neutral? What niche does your brand fit? Is it tech, food, education, or something else? Step three, create a mood board. Once you have an idea of some preliminary colors that you like, it's time to create a mood board. Remember, those questions that we discussed in step one should be answered in these mood boards. A mood board is a loose composition of visual assets that match your brand, kind of like a Pinterest for colors. So take a color that you like and find images that primarily use that color. If you need help creating a mood board, consider using Vengage, which provides a wide array of mood board templates that you can easily customize and download in any format you like. Step four, primary colors and secondary colors. In order to maintain balance, you'll need more than one color. So it's time to nail down what color you like as a primary color and what color you like as a secondary color. The secondary color can be a neutral color like black or white, but you must have it. Again, think Coke or Netflix using that primary red with that secondary neutral color. Need help choosing? Go back to your mood boards. Pair a couple together to see what you like. Analyze the combined boards and see if they fit with your brand's story. So when you follow these four crucial steps, you'll be able to choose the right colors for your new brand. And that's a wrap for today's guide. I hope that you've learned something useful today. Try using Vengage for free. Don't forget to follow us on social media and I'll see you in the next video.